Hey, it's me again with another video. And today we're gonna to talk about how women feel when they really love you. I feel like this topic is important because there's always a brother out there who really needs to understand things for what they are. How do women feel when we really love you? I'll break it down. Welcome back. My name is Jessica. This is my YouTube channel. Now the intention of this video is to make you understand what women feel without a doubt when they're in love with you. Hopefully this helps you move ahead with your relationship where women are concerned and also helps you to understand women better. Today's video is sponsored by Passion Air. It's an airline that operates in Ghana and takes you from one Ghanaian city to the next. Check it out anytime you are in the motherland. So number one is emotional instability. Have you ever been so in love with someone that you just simply cannot hold yourself back, cannot think straight, you know, everything you do um, sort of comes back to this person that you're in love with. When women are in love, and I mean really in love, it's hard for them to focus on anything else but this guy who's in their life you know it's like they find themselves during different parts of the day you know just reminiscing and musing about this um personality or this guy who's just swept them off their feet she bounces between feelings of exhilaration euphoria increased energy loss of appetite trembling body racing heart and accelerated breathing as well as the flip side anxiety feeling of despair and heartbreak when the relationship isn't proceeding as should and really this is a normal physiological response and it's not just something that can be attributed to women it there's something about meeting people and falling in in love with them that brings the butterflies to your stomach that makes the world fade away you know makes them the only person that you see in a crowded room when you're really into someone it's like you don't even hear the noise you just all you do is see them and they can do no wrong it's hard for anyone to bad mouth the guy she's in love with it's hard for her to even see reason where she really must be paying attention and these are just ways that women fall in love. When we fall in love, we fall in love deep. Very few women have major control over their emotions when they're in love. And so when they are, you can tell, and it's pretty obvious in the way they do things and the way they speak to you and the way they talk about you to their friends, etc. Number two, possessive feelings. Now there are women who feel or experience strong sexual feelings towards the guys that they are in love with. And usually this is accompanied by feeling of not wanting to share him with anyone wanting him for herself, 247. And she'll have no problem whatsoever voicing out her true feelings about her man's unavailability if he begins to pull away or she begins to feel a little distance between you guys. Typically when a woman is in love, she's possessive about you. She's possessive about everything about you from you know, um, trying to own your time, which is one of the most important resources you could ever give her, to trying to keep everybody else away from you. She will fight off every other woman who attempts to be with her man. And this is evident in a lot of these cat fights that break out between women. This happens a lot because she feels the need to defend her territory and she feels like this other woman has or is trying to get her claws in her man and she needs to protect what is hers. When a woman's in love, she's possessive. When a woman falls in love with you, she inevitably starts imagining what a life with you would be like and she actually almost unconsciously starts working towards that and so you'd realize that she'll start to try and take control of maybe how you keep your house how you arrange things in your bedroom how you it's just a nurturing thing that a lot of women do and that's their way of really letting you into their space and letting you into their lives and i don't necessarily think it's a bad thing unless of course the man involved here is not someone who wants to take the woman to the altar, basically. And if he does realize that this is not the woman he wants to actually end up with, then maybe he should let his real thoughts and feelings be known so she doesn't waste too much time on him. Because the moment she starts to feel comfortable, she feels like you guys are in love, she takes over your life and begins to run it as if you guys were already married. Number three, feeling out of control. Now, number three kind of piggybacks on what I said in the first pointer, but it's feeling out of control. You know, it's so intense that she cannot help herself. At this stage, sexual intimacy is high, you know, and frequent, 
um, barring any religious or moral beliefs. When she loves you, she will work to establish the highest level of intimacy possible with you. She will go above and beyond to make you happy. When she's in love with you and when the love is fresh, you don't have to ask too much to get some. And even when you're out in public, she sends these non-verbal cues, holding your hand, locking arms with you, giving you a peck on the cheek when you least expect it, just literally bathing you with her presence. So in a way, she's showing affection. In another way, she's telling other women that, listen, this is my man, back off, don't even try it. He is marked, I have him, end of story. Now, if she does things like these, it's usually an indication that she's madly in love with you and you shouldn't take it for granted, especially if you really like her back. Let's talk about number four, and that is emotional dependency. When it comes to relationships, the intense desire to belong to someone is real and it's apparent and she will not hold back in letting you know that she belongs to you wants to be with you wants to do this with you and for the long haul as well listen if she's ready to let you in it means that she really is in love with you and what you represent. The other side of it is that she will also expect the same level of dependency from you. And so if you get to a point where you are not forthcoming or she doesn't feel like you're matching her up um, with all the love and, and, and affection that she's showing you, um, she will begin to wonder if she's in the right place. Unless, of course, that you both agree that you're going to be in an open relationship where you could see other people. But if the relationship is exclusive, then by all means, she will demand the same level of commitment from you as well and would expect you to be as dependent as she is. Number five, one big thing that also shows that a woman's in love with you is her level of empathy. She begins to think about you a lot, put herself in your shoes where certain things are concerned and does a lot of selfless acts. You see, people who are in love usually feel an immense sense of empathy for the people that they call their beloved. You know, feeling the other person's pain as if it were their own, willing just to do almost anything to make them happy. When she really loves you, she'll go all out of her way to make you feel at ease, accepted, loved, sexually fulfilled if that's her thing and you know she will go all out she will do the whole nine yards for you she'll silently learn about all your needs and she'll do a lot of selfless acts as well and it usually doesn't take any prompting it comes naturally because that's just the kind of nurturing human beings that we are now take notes because as all this is happening she will also start staking a claim to your life your time trying to get you guys to do a lot more things together we may begin questioning you when you know you've been gone for hours that she doesn't understand or doesn't make sense to her or maybe you didn't explain to her or tell her about and understandably so at that point she feels like you guys are one and should constantly keep each other informed so if you're not that kind of guy who wants to be answering to anyone and just wants to live a free life then when you start seeing these signs you need to come clear and explain exactly what it is you want from this woman else you're going to end up with a woman who's really hurt number six when a woman really loves you she believes in actions more than words women show love in different ways and it's about you really trying to get to know this woman to see what her love language is and meeting her where she's at one of the biggest signs under this topic or this pointer that a girl loves you is she will stand by you through thick and thin you know she will never throw you to the wall like if there was something really bad going on and she even realized that you were wrong she'll probably be quiet about it and then when you get back to your private space ask you more for more details or ask you to elaborate the point so she's clear better yet she will tell you listen I don't think you were right in this instance but she will never like publicly embarrass you or disgrace you she will make you feel like the man finally number seven she will long for you she longs for you for your presence for your intimate touch for every bit of you that she can get. When she doesn't see you, she will ask why. If she misses you, she'll let you know. If she wants you, she'll let you know. If she wants you to come over, it shouldn't. there'll be no hesitation whatsoever. She should be able to tell you and she will tell you. At that point, she will not care so much about her vulnerability. She's opened up to you, she's completely vulnerable, and she will expect the same kind of um, feelings reciprocated. At this point, it almost sounds like there's no going Back. And indeed, if you nurture the relationship properly, 
it can flourish into something really great and something really grand. So if you find a woman or you find someone who, you know, does all these things without prompting and is willing to go and show the world that you are theirs, you should really pay attention and hold on to this person because such people are rare these days. Well, I hope that um, this video gave you some insights. You learned a few things. If you did, please smash the like button. If you're really excited about it, the super thanks button is also available. But I would also invite you to join my channel as a member. You get exclusive perks, special membership badges, and behind the scenes content every now and again where available. Plus you have an opportunity to chat with me one-on-one -on -one if you do not want to do it on Patreon. If you do want to do it on Patreon, however, go to patreon.com forward slash Jessica OS. I will catch you in the next video. Have a good one.